Hello, my name is Franz and today we are going to talk about the Diamond film Colorizer from HS Art. Um, let's try, uh, let me show you the clip I want to colorize. This is one scene out of Go West and this was shot 1925. So how we are going to do that? Well, there are many ways to do it really. So, but this is one of the approaches which are possible with the colorizer. So first we need some colors to get this done in the colorization. And what I did is I was uh, looking up in the internet and luckily I found actually some pictures on the internet. And for this, you see, actually this particular scene, someone went to the filming location and did photographs of the exact location where this film was shot in color. So we're going to use that. Um, I found another photograph uh, from Buster Keaton, which we're going to use to transfer colors from. Okay, so how are we going to do that? Well, use colors from an image we have a special filter called color image sample so i have an image sample and it gives color to my picture so by clicking on this filter by default the filter drops uh, to one frame and i can go to my parameter section of this filter here and i can choose a color sample i basically drag and drop now my color image sample. So what it does, of course, the colors from the persons don't fit, but I got basic colors for the background, which I would like to use. So next, for instance, I would like to concentrate on Buster Keaton. So, well, I haven't defined any colors yet, so I'm starting in this tutorial with an empty color library. So we need to build up a color, color library. Um, and what I do now is I create <clears throat> basically a folder called Buster Keaton. And inside I create a color. And let's start with the head. I create a color head. So now I could define a color here with the color wheel, so like in any other software, but that's too complicated for me. So what I do is actually I bring over the Buster Keaton and I would like to, to learn the colors directly from here. So how do I do that? Well, here my color settings, I have an icon extract colors from green screenshot. That's what I want to do. So I click on that. And now it, I don't have, uh, I cannot take the green screenshot anymore, but we have built in a feature. So by pressing down the Alt key, my application goes in the background and I can see my head. So, I'm doing that. This brings up another window. And here, actually, I can do some basic corrections in brightness, contrast, and so on, because I want to, to have a similar brightness than in this image. Uh, and I can play with saturations and so on. Uh, and now I have kind of a brush where I just pick learn color. So I pick up colors and you see it's creating a gradient map based on the selection I do here in my image. So this is then basically the color of my head. So I have a gradient map of different colors to different brightnesses. That's my gradient map. So I have defined now a head with this gradient map, which I can change, of course. So now I want to colorize the head of Buster Keaton with this color. So how do I do that? Well, I need a different filter. 
in this case a colorize mask filter. The colorize mask filter will apply a color to a selected object. So let's do this, this now and drop in a colorize mask filter. Since this filter by default goes to the whole, whole scene, I need to shorten the filter, right? So let's do this. So I have it on the current frame. My head is selected, my selection tool is selected. So now I want, I want to select the head. So I click in the middle of the head. This will show me in an orange mask, the selected mask. I can toggle the mask on and off over here, or I use my shortcut, which I like more is the V key. So I can toggle the mask off. You see the mask is not everywhere perfectly. So I do a left click on the mask and the mask will expand um, to that area. Here it's a bit too much. So I do a right click to reduce my mask and the mask will fit in. So I've created now uh, the color for, for, the bus, for, for Buster Keaton's head. So let's continue with another object like to do his, uh, I don't know the English word, uh, gilet. <laughs> uh, um, I create now a new object called gilet. And I need, of course, the color again. So let's do this and I'm hitting down the Alt key and probably I use just the color from, from this here. I could choose any other color as well, of course. So a bit more brightness to it. So let's use this color. So I'm creating this color or learning this color by different brightnesses. Okay. So I have this color on here. And I go again to my uh, selection mask tool. I click here on the mask. By default, it did create the whole person because it's trained for doing person. So I have to do some uh, right clicks that I only get actually what I want to get the, here like this and probably on the other side as well. Okay, so I've created now two colors in and we can do another one like for his shirt. So I create a new object, go in there and select this shirt over here. Okay, and same thing. I do I have to do some left clicks to get rid of this not the hand but here i want to have it and this is all also shared over here um well i don't like this color to be honest so i can go in and edit this again and to desaturate it a bit, so to have it like this, and it will reapply the new color over there. Well, finding the colors or finding good colors is really a difficult task, which we are not uh, discussing in this tutorial. Here it's more, if I have somewhere colors, how to transfer it into our system and put it onto this. I also found some other images like here we have cowboys and I could learn colors from here and transit, transfer it into my system. We could continue to do this with all the other objects uh, to give them a color, but uh, I will not do this today in this tutorial and leave this out for the future. But in the next tutorial, I show you then how when I have colorized the whole image, one frame, how to get these colors over the time.
So thanks for listening to this first tutorial here.